The white mulberry is a tree with many uses. In gardens and yards, it's valued not only as a beautiful ornamental tree, but also as one that provides seasonal snacking opportunities. In the summer, this tree produces sweet edible fruits, which turn from white to dark purple as they ripen. Many gardeners enjoyed easy access to this sweet treat. So do the local birds, this tree has been known to attract finches, robins, thrashers, and cardinals. The white mulberry's most distinctive honor, however, has been earned by its leaves. They are the only food source of the silkworm. Production of valuable silk fabric, then, can only be supported by plantations of white mulberry trees to host these hardworking insects. As the cultivation of silk spread to more countries outside of China, this tree of course had to be brought as well, or the operation would be doomed to fail. This led to the importing of white mulberry to new continents, because its delicious fruit helps the plant so successfully spread its seeds, the white mulberry tree ended up as a weedy invasive in many places, including South Africa and across the United States. In this context, the wild plant is known to sprout up in disturbed ground, growing rather rapidly and feeding the birds with many seeds that they happily spread to new locations every year. This process can, unfortunately, compete with and replace many native species. The white mulberry is even known to hybridize with the red mulberry tree, a U.S. native species, displacing the original species. If you live in a region where the white mulberry is considered invasive, you may want to think twice before adding this particular species to your yard. Native fruiting plants will support the local wildlife and be less likely to overtake your garden in years to come.